Yo, what is up guys, it's the Oreo. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys the leader swap glitches, tips, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I'm doing this live, so hopefully I don't mess up a lot. Uh, but yeah, I got a couple questions on how to do it, um, some techniques, etc. So I'm gonna just teach you guys what I know. I'm not the best at it. Um, there are a lot of people that are really fucking good at this shit, but uh, hopefully you learn something by watching it. So normally what you guys will probably see is the chakra dash swap and you just chakra dash and switch to your secondary character. Um, this is really good because when you're fighting an opponent, um, if they do try to counter chakra dash you, they're going to hit that they're targeting the CPU. They are not targeting you as the player. They're going to target you as the CPU and vice versa. So when they do it and you chakra dash, which you probably have noticed that you go straight for the CPU and not the, uh, the actual player and then you get punished for it. Um, this works with all dashes. So the, the charge one, um, a regular air dash, air chakra dash, etc. Um, that one's a really vital tool to use. Um, it keeps you pretty safe, honestly. And even um, between combos, what uh, I usually do is uh, I do a combo. But when I chakra dash to keep the combo going, I'll swap characters just in case because there are some people who do uh, counter in combos just in case you try to uh, style on them, etc. So they'll counter and then you'll get um, punished for it. Um, there's the tag swap. So, yeah, there it is. It's a, it's kind of weird. It's not as soon as you think it would be. It's a little later after you throw the tag. Um, this works for when um, you're trying to keep someone positioned down or keep them on block stun, um, and you don't want them to sub out of it and ch chakra dash you. You basically would just do that. Because they're going to end up chakra dashing the CPU and not you. Like, um, up close, you can just swap into grabs. Um, you can do swap into OT, etc., etc. Uh, this stuff gets really fucking advanced when you start piecing it together with combos. But um, that's predominantly what I found it was good for is just the swapping chakra dash ones. Um, so, out of some combos, If you, if you just swap out of a combo, the CPU will um, dash at them. And then it kind of, it, if you don't want to do that, the one way to get around it is to jump forward or jump up. So do with Sasuke. That's an easier way to piece together the combos instead of, instead of your CPU dashing at them. You can just neutral jump, jump forward, sideways, etc., whatever you want to do. Um, as long as you jump out of it because it considers that a cancel and it's a reset So then you'll be able to uh, freely do whatever you want to do There we go finally Yeah, so you can just do that to pick up uh, into a, a CPU OT um, this pretty much just debunks like like true combo cancel ultis so like you don't need to do um like this is sasuke's like you don't really have to do the ulti with sasuke anymore or as some characters that don't have uh combo cancels that go into ultimates you can just do the team swap and get an ultimate off of like a knockup or anything like that um really what you want to do once like once you get the basics down is you just want to practice with like the team sets that you use and figure out some combos. Um. Ah, fuck, I missed it. Um, but that's one of them with Sasuke. What I did was the down combo. Right before he goes behind them, you wanna um, you wanna do a counter. The counter also reacts as a cancel. So like your character, when you swap to your other character, you won't dash into him or anything. Um, but you can just jump if you want to. Uh, I find this to be easier with some combos like Sasuke because he just goes behind and you can't, you, it takes too long to cancel that so you just swap. Uh, there we go, I got it this time. So that would be the counter swap. Also the counter swap is really good because um, 
if you do, if you can time it right, you can counter an enemy's attack and swap and punish them. Uh, let me see if I can get that really quickly for you guys. Like that. That is scary. Because what this will do is um, you'll get a full combo off that. Most likely with most characters, you will get a full combo off of that because they're still stunned. They're still in the counter animation. They are stunned. So you can pretty you could do an ultimate if you want to. Um, but I just go for the full combo. You can go for a grab. It's whatever you want to do. They're at free will to be punished. Um, but it's kind of it's really hard. It, you have to do it super fast. Um, but you just counter swap. <clears throat> but that's pretty much it that I know about it. Um, so just test around with your characters and see um, what combos you can piece together. Um, this is probably like one of my favorites. That is my favorite one. You can also link that with Chidori if you want to. Uh, that will link up. You can't do the full Chidori, like the full charge one, but I guess a Taka tip is that you can do up combo and hold Chidori. And you'll automatically get the full Chidori hold for it. Um, in case some guys you didn't know. You get a lot of damage off of that. I use it a lot. <clears throat> but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something. Um, test it out. See what happens. Um, tell me how it goes. And show me some combos that you guys create. I'm Odori and I'm out. Thanks for watching.